everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet the crossbill stitch, which is a stitch that you see here in front of you. This is a variation of the crossed double crochet stitch, which you can also find here on my channel. But uh, you'll see that this one here, it's a little bit more lacy than the crossed double crochet stitch. It is the same on both sides. And this uh, pattern is a two row repeat. So uh, it's kind of fun to work, easy to memorize. It grows quickly and it has that nice, lightweight, airy feel. I'd love to hear how you would use it in a project in the comments below. So today for this tutorial, I'm going to be using a little bit of the Karen Times Pantone yarn by Yarn Inspirations, as well as a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. Uh, links to both of these items can be found in the description of this video. And uh, it's not up yet today, but keep an eye open on my blog, richtexturescrochet.com. The written tutorial will be coming soon. So thank you so much for joining me today. Uh, let's grab our hooks and our yarn and let's learn how to crochet the crossbill stitch. For our crossbill stitch today, we are going to work the pattern in rows. So the first thing you're going to do is start by making your slip knot. You're then going to work a foundation chain and your foundation chain needs to have a multiple of four stitches plus three. So today I'm going to start by chaining a total of 23 chains. There's 10, and 20, 21, 22, and 23. Once you have your foundation chain worked to the desired length, you're going to start by skipping those first three stitches, and that will count as a double crochet stitch. You're then going to work a crossed double crochet stitch over the next three stitches. So you've skipped those first three, then you have this next set of three here. So uh, you're going to start by skipping the next two so in total you're going to skip five and work a double crochet into that next stitch so work your first double crochet into the sixth chain from your hook it will be a full double crochet you're going to chain one now working back into the two chains that you skipped you're going to work the next leg of your cross double into that first one that you skipped. So into the fourth chain from your hook really. So bring your hook back, insert your hook into that first skipped stitch, yarn over and complete your double crochet stitch. And that's your first crossed double crochet. You're then going to double crochet into the next stitch, into the next chain. We're now going to repeat that. So looking at your next three chains, right there, you're going to skip the first two and into that third one work a double crochet stitch, chain one, now working back into the first skipped chain, yarn over and work a double crochet stitch. You're not going to want that to be too tight so kind of bring up that loop a little bit so it's in similar height and work the double crochet stitch. And you're going to repeat once again into the next stitch, double crochet crossed double crochet over the next three stitches and repeat. Repeat that all the way across 
and finish with a double crochet into the final chain. Just at the end of my row one, and I'm going to double crochet into that final chain. And this is what your work should look like. You're then going to chain three and turn your work. Your chain three counts as that double crochet stitch. For row two, you're going to begin by working one double crochet into that first stitch. So into the same stitch as you're starting chain three, into that first stitch, work a double crochet. Now into the chain one space. So skip the next double crochet and into that chain one space, work one double crochet stitch. You're now going to work across double crochet over the next three stitches. So skip the next two stitches, the next two double crochets into that third one, work a double crochet, then chain one. Now working back into that first skipped stitch, insert your hook and work a double crochet stitch. Into the next chain one space, work a double crochet. You're now going to repeat that all the way across. Skip the next two stitches, begin your crossed double crochet, so double crochet, chain one, double crochet into the first of the two skip stitches, into the next chain one space, double crochet. So repeat that all the way across your work until you come to the end, at which time you're going to work a double crochet into that final stitch. It'll actually be two double crochets. So you double crochet into that chain one space and then into the top of your chain three, work two double crochet stitches. And that brings you to the end of your row two. For row three, you're going to chain three and turn your work. You're now going to skip that first stitch that your chain three comes out of. That counts as a double crochet stitch. Then over the next three stitches, you're going to start off by working your cross double crochet. So skip the next two stitches, double crochet into the next, chain one, double crochet into the first skipped stitch, and you have your cross double crochet. Into the next chain one space, work a double crochet stitch, and then repeat crossed double crochet over the next three stitches. And double crochet into the next chain one space. Repeat that all the way across, ending with a double crochet stitch into your final stitch. At the end of my row three here, I'm working my final double crochet into that last stitch, which is the top of my chain three. And that brings me to the end of my round three, row three. You're then going to chain three and turn your work. For the rest 
of this pattern, you're simply going to repeat those last two rows. So the one that you just worked, where you started off with your crossed double crochet, and uh, this row here next, you're going to start off by working a double crochet into that same stitch, then double crochet into your chain one space, and then work your cross double crochet and repeat. So you're going to repeat those last two rows for as long as you would like for your pattern. And that's it. That's all there is to the crossbill stitch. So thank you so much for joining me. And uh, once again, I invite you to subscribe. And don't forget to come back next week for our next stitch tutorial. Happy crocheting. See you soon.